Hey, this is McKaylee from Breaking Yarn. Welcome back to my channel. I am just going to show you a few tips and tricks for knitting my new cowl, the Eye of the Partridge Heel Cowl. A nice texture that you get from knitting the Eye of the Partridge Heel on a sock. Um, and the slips are offset from each other instead of straight up and down like the slip stitch heel flap. Um, and today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to knit this. So I'm here at my beginning of round and I want to show you um, how you can read your stitches in case you get off and you don't know which row you're on. So I just finished a knit row and you can know that by turning your work and you'll see the knit bumps all the way across the back and they're up close to the needle. So that's how you know you just finished a knit row. And then over here, it might be a little difficult to see, but you can see which stitch is elongated and which stitch is kind of in the back. And I can see that this stitch is elongated and this stitch is in the back, which means that I need to knit this stitch, knit the elongated one, and slip the one that's in the back. So I know, based on seeing that, that I'm on row one of my pattern. So I am going to knit the first stitch, slip, knit as in pattern here just a slip one knit one and I'll show you that when you're doing this you can also look to see my elongated slip stitch here is with a knit stitch from below and next to it is a knit stitch it's a lot more tight and it's next to this elongated stitch. So if ever you're knitting in a row and you're like, am I still on track? You can easily check to make sure that you're on track. Every once in a while I get this feeling and I'll check and I'll be off somehow. And then I can figure out where did I go off? And you can also look on the back too when you're slipping You'll see they kind of become a little bit more like pairs. So this is the knit stitch, then I slipped one, then a knit stitch, and then I slipped one. So you can also easily see I knit one, I slip one, I knit one, I slip one, I knit one. So you can easily see where you're at in the pattern and make sure that your slips are lining up with the knit rows from before. If you do get off in the pattern, it's easy to unknit the stitches and go backwards. And the way you do that on a knit stitch is you insert your hook into the stitch just below on the back side, and then you unknit it. And then the slip is easy because you just slip it back to your left hand needle. Again, the knit stitch, you just insert into the stitch right below it and your yarn comes out. And then the slip, you just slip back to the left side. So it's pretty easy to get back on track if you were to get off in the pattern at all. This is a free cowl pattern. It's on my website, breakingyarn.com and on my Ravelry, Breaking Yarn. You can download it for free either place and I hope you enjoy it. It creates a very strong structured cowl. No wind will ever get through this cowl because of how thick it is. I am using one skein of my Swish DK base and this colorway is Holly White. That's it for the tips. I hope this video helps you. I hope you enjoy the pattern and thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.